Denise Hurd, Director of Research for the U.S. Poultry and Egg Association. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Sean Beerson about one of her highly anticipated current research projects funded by U.S. Poultry and its foundation. Dr. Beerson is a research microbiologist for the USDA ARS National Animal Disease Center Food Safety and Enteric Pathogens Research Unit in Ames, Iowa. Welcome, Dr. Beerson. Congratulations on your funded board research initiative project, and thank you for sharing your research with us today. Hello, Denise. It's my pleasure, and I would like to thank the U.S. Poultry BRI program for funding our proposal. Uh, my team is very excited about initiating this research project. Thank you. So to get started, I'd just like to share with the audience today a bit of information about the U.S. Poultry Board Research Initiative Program. The BRI operates separately and does not compete for funding or resources with the Comprehensive Research Program. We release special requests for proposals on specific topics. These topics are chosen by the boards of directors of U.S. Poultry and the U.S. Poultry Foundation. The requests for proposals released by the BRI are focused and specify the research questions and areas of focus sought in each research proposal. Two board research initiative projects are funded each year up to $125,000 each. Now, let's get on to the fun stuff. Sean, your study is titled Vaccination Against Salmonella Enterica Serotype Reading. Evaluation of the Cross-Protective Salmonella BBS 866 vaccine and the AVPRO Megan Egg vaccine at reducing outbreaks associated with salmonella redding, colonization, dissemination, and persistence in turkeys. Would you please provide us an overview of your project? Yes. Uh, so this project focuses on a human food safety issue, uh, and that's salmonella in turkeys, specifically concentrating on the recent turkey-associated outbreak salmonella serotype redding that caused 358 reported illnesses, 133 hospitalizations, and one death in 42 U.S. states, as well as resulted in the recall of turkey products from several companies. Uh, in this project, we will vaccinate vaccinate young turkey poults with either the, the BBS 866 vaccine created by our research team or the AvaPro Megan Egg vaccine. And then we'll challenge both vaccinated groups of turkeys as well as unvaccinated turkeys with uh, an outbreak isolate of Salmonella Redding to determine if either of those vaccines can reduce colonization, dissemination, and persistence of this recently emerged Salmonella Redding in turkeys. Thank you for providing that overview. You mentioned that your research team developed and patented a live salmonella vaccine that is cross-protective against various salmonella serotypes in multiple food animal species, the BBS-866 salmonella vaccine. Would you provide some background on this particular vaccine and why you theorize it may provide protective immunity against salmonella redding? So there are multiple issues in controlling salmonella and food animals, including the fact that there are over 2,600 serotypes of salmonella, and that makes it difficult to develop targeted interventions. So our research team has created and patented a vaccine to cross-protect against various salmonella serotypes. Uh, the rational design of the vaccine addresses the issue that salmonella evades cross-protection by expressing serotype-specific antigens on the bacterial outer surface, and those are immunodominant. This induces a host immune response that is specific to that particular salmonella serotype. So what we end up with is immune protection against one serotype of salmonella that may not provide protection against other salmonella serotypes. So an effective vaccine that provides broad protection against the multitude of salmonella serotypes isolated in the various phases of turkey production and processing must overcome the serotype specific protection induced by immunodominant antigens of salmonella. 
So to improve salmonella vaccinology for food animals, our research team created a live attenuated vaccine that has genetic mutations in the bacterial gen um, genome, and it limits salmonella serotype specific immunity. And we call this vaccine BBS-866. We've tested and published the re uh, research on the vaccine's ability to reduce intestinal and systemic colonization of turkeys with multi-drug resistant salmonella Heidelberg, isolated from the 2011 ground turkey outbreak. And we've shown that the vaccine is cross-species protective as it reduced salmonella cholera suis tissue colonization and clinical disease, as well as improved average daily weight gain in pigs. So lastly, the BBS-866 vaccine um, is a DIVA vaccine, which means that the vaccine does not interfere with herd or flock serological surveillance testing uh, for salmonella. Wow, thank you. Um, could you also share some of your experimental design for comparing the BBS-866 salmonella vaccine to the AVPRO Megan Egg vac? So in addition to the BBS-866 vaccine that I just described, we'll also test the only commercially available vaccine for turkeys, and that's the Avapro Megan Egg vaccine. And it has a label claim to aid in the prevention of Salmonella typhimurium colonization of the liver and spleen. And we will be assessing its ability to cross-protect against Salmonella redding in turkeys. So for the experimental design, uh, we will perform the experiment in our biosafety level two isolation barns at the National Animal Disease Center in Ames, Iowa. Uh, we'll purchase one day old turkey poults from a commercial hatchery and vaccinate them upon arrival. And then about one month of age, we'll challenge the vaccinated and unvaccinated turkeys with a salmonella redding isolate from the turkey outbreak. Then over several weeks, we'll quantitatively measure intestinal tissue colonization, uh, dissemination of the pathogen to systemic organs such as the spleen, as well as monitor their persistence of the pathogen in those tissues over time. Again, the aim is to determine if either of these vaccines will limit salmonella in turkeys. Dr. Bearson, what do you foresee as the overall impact of this work and do you think it could also be beneficial for the broiler and layer industries? So the potential impact of this work is providing the turkey industry with an applicable tool for targeted mitigation to control the human foodborne pathogen salmonella. Vaccination against a broad range of salmonella serotypes is a promising tool to minimize salmonella colonization of commercial turkeys and reduce salmonella carriage into the human food chain. Uh, this can limit foodborne outbreaks, uh, diminish the cost of meat product recalls to the industry and provide the public with a safer food supply. As for the potential uh, benefits in other poultry sectors, the BBS-866 vaccine was designed for salmonella reduction in food animals. So although we've not tested the vaccine in chickens, we predict it would be protective in other poultry. Wow, so it has the potential to be quite advantageous for all of the poultry industry then. Um, last question. We certainly you. hope so. <laughs> Very good, and last question for you. Is there anything else that you would like to share related to this work in which the industry should be excited to look forward to? So I guess what I'd like to end with saying that um, the presence and persistence of salmonella on the farm involves a multitude of risk factors, including farm hygiene, animal health, feed management, and biosecurity. And the complex interplay of these factors, along with the ubiquitous nature of salmonella in the environment and its asymptomatic presence in food animals, creates a formidable pathogen to eliminate from the food chain. Furthermore, reducing salmonella on farm is not only critical as a food safety concern, but equally as important is that salmonella serves as both a reservoir as well as a recipient of antimicrobial resistance. And it's this acquisition of AMR, antimicrobial resistance, virulence genes, and fitness factors that contribute to the evolution of this opportunistic pathogen and that generates emergent outbreak isolates that threaten public health. 
So it's important to optimize salmonella control strategies at each production and processing stage along the farm to fork continuum in order to um, offer the greatest possibility of successfully improving food safety while diminishing the need for product recalls. What we're hoping to provide with this research project is knowledge that vaccination can be an important tool to integrate into on-farm control programs for reduction of food safety risks to the consumer. Thank you, Dr. Beerson. Uh, congratulations again on your funded board research initiative. Uh, you have a lot of work ahead of you. Um, the potential impacts of this can be tremendous for all sectors in the poultry industry. And I know that myself, as well as the industry, will be anxiously awaiting the, the findings and outcome of this project. So um, again, we appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to speak with us today and provide some insight into the work that you'll be doing over the next couple years. Thank you, Dr. Hurd. And again, thank you to the U.S. Poultry um, BRI program. Thank you.